What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Phoenix, and welcome back to another video. Now, this, what I'm about to tell you right here, is some next, next level stuff right here. Now, this has to deal with Fortnite, of course. You know, Fortnite is the most popular battle royale, if not the most popular game out right now. You know, everybody plays it, millions, top of millions of people play it. And it seems that the Good Morning America News channel has did a segment on Fortnite because, um... Cause uh, you know I, I hold on, let me let me explain this real quick. Alrighty, so on top of those millions and millions of people who play this game, not only do adults and teenagers play, but also little kids, like about I don't know, like fourth, fifth graders, less seven year olds, people play this game, and it seems that Good Morning has um asks uh, how Fortnite affects the brain, and the big question now is, should parents be concerned? Now wait a minute, now I know this sounds familiar because I believe GTA 5 has done this too, uh, also Call of Duty has done this too, um, I'm not sure about any other games on top of my head right now, but those primarily have um, spiked um, parents' minds about you know, should my child be concerned about, you know, him playing, you know, such a violent game? Even though Fortnite is not, I mean, it has a cartoony feeling to it. There's no guts and there's no blood or anything like that. But still, like, the, you know, they're, they're using guns and all of that. And I I know exactly why they brought this topic up. And it, because if you guys didn't know about the Florida sh uh, deadly shooting with that one, um, kid who didn't even go to the school, he shot up about 17 people, you know, um, you know, rest in peace to the people that, uh, that, um, horribly died. But, um, anyways, uh, so, um, they have brung up this issue because of that, uh, tragedy, and now they're seen as if, um, Fortnite is kind of the problem, not really the problem, but is that really the reason why that, um, that, that their kids are spending, like, a lot more time on the game, you know, not getting their schoolwork done. As soon as they get home, they get brought up on the game. And their parents don't see their child for hours upon hours because they're on this game. Well, it seems that uh, Good Morning America uh, explains this. Um, they break all this down. So I'm just going to play some snippets of this. Of course, I will leave this in the link in the description. If you guys want to go check out the full video, and let's get right into it. Our GMA cover story, a parenting alert about a popular video game so many kids are playing. That's right, Robin. Video games are facing some new scrutiny this morning, President Trump has announced he's meeting with video game executives next week to discuss violent content following the deadly Florida school shooting. This as a new game called Fortnite is drawing millions of players and some parents are worrying their kids are spending way too much time at the controls. Fortnite's popularity is now a cause for concern. I mean, I just love this game. It's great. Amy Selling says her kids are so caught up in the game, she sometimes won't see them for hours after school. They downloaded it around November, December. Around that time, I guess that's when they slowly started to disappear. She wrote about her experience in a blog titled, How I Lost My Children to Fortnite. The post garnering big response from other parents across the country. Everyone's sort of struggling with the same thing. How much time do we let our children actually play this where they're not fighting and they think they've had enough time and I'm not the bad guy. And it's not only Fortnite. Just this year, in a controversial decision, the World Health Organization officially recognized gaming disorder as a mental health issue. The American Academy of Pediatrics advises parents to place consistent limits on screen time, making sure it doesn't take the place of adequate sleep, physical activity, and other behaviors essential to health. But for worried parents, Fortnite's social aspect may actually have a positive effect. Effect. The beauty of video games is they're moving from being solo experiences to more social experiences that invite people to come together and bond over a shared positive activity. What makes this game different than any other games that we've seen before and how does it affect the brain? Listen, when you mentioned Fortnite here in the studio, there were people high-fiving. I saw a bunch of teenagers in the studio high-fiving. This is a viral game. People are so into this game and the thing that makes Fortnite so different is it's so interactive, Michael. I mean, people can play duo as a team and really interact over the video game. It affects our pleasure centers of the brain. That's what video games do, and this one is really intense. Okay, so speaking specifically to Fortnite, how much playing time is too much time? Parents want to know, what limits do we set? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics says if your kid is five, two to five, it should be 
an hour or less a day. With teenagers, it's really about the context. How does the video game affect their activities? Does it prevent them from getting their schoolwork done? Does it prevent them from doing other social activities? You know, Homer Simpson had a great quote. Look, I mean, there are definitely benefits. Uh, the thing about Fortnite is it's a multiplayer game, and what the thing that teenagers really enjoy about it is that you're actually talking to your friend while you're doing it. Now, so that's really one of the fun parts about it, and that's what sucks people in and says, hey, five more minutes, mom, 10 more minutes, mom, three hours more, you know, and you can spend your whole life down there in the family room playing. Mm -hmm. It's that interactive component. A lot of kids who aren't connected in sports or other settings really find a social scene in that, which is as a benefit. Again, I will leave the link in the description to this whole video if you guys want to go watch it. It's really interesting. I, I, I get a lot of their points, but uh, let's go ahead and break this down. So uh, one thing that brought to my attention is that President Donald Trump is going to discuss uh, gun violence with uh, um, video game developers and all of that. And one thing that I hope that would not happen is that it would not change how games are today. Call of Duty, like, for example, it's a wonderful game. You guys play World War II? I play World War II still. You know, Fortnite's all and all and all that, but, like, I still got to do my, my daily grind. But, um, yeah, the one thing that I wish that wouldn't change or that I hope that it wouldn't change is that games today and from so on will not, like, be, like, be like, um, um, now I don't want to say family friendly, but I don't want it to be like dumbed down. You feel me? Like, for example, if you got, um, you know, World War II, I'm gonna use World War II for example because I play that game a lot. Now, if they, re if they mess, all I gotta say is if they mess with Call of Duty, like, <clears throat> but, um, anyways, so another point that, um, that brought my attention in this video. And then, of course, the other main point about this is about the uh, children space, um, wasting too much time on the game Fortnite. Now, I get it. Millions of people play it, as, like I said earlier. Um, little kids uh, not only play this, um, like like small children, like seven, like eight, nine and up play, teenagers, adults. And, you know, I totally get it for the parents being worried because this isn't, like, remember, uh, and I stated this earlier with... Um, uh, what, what, what did I say? GTA and Call of Duty because they have experienced this type of situation. They're not the only ones um, who were hit by this. It's now becoming Fortnite. And I think that the only reason why that they have brought this attention was because Fortnite is getting really big. I mean, come on now, like, if it was, like, 1 million players playing this, eh, you know, they might cut some slack, but, you know, um, um, yeah, but um, parents are um, being concerned about their children spending way too much time. You know, it hasn't been a... It, it, it has always been a big problem, like, uh, since forever. But now they're really starting to uh, take, in, like, take in into, like, why is my children playing for, like, hours upon hours on this game when he should be doing his homework or working on his essay, you feel me? And I'm not gonna lie. When this game came out, I was on this game for hours. I didn't even do my homework for my first week because I was on this game. But you know, it's like, but I, but I can control it because I'm a teenager. You know, I have a lot more freedom than these little kids. Now, these little kids, like, they have a lot of responsibilities now. And you know, it, as as a parent, it, it's your job to you know be concerned about your child if anything's going on in their life, no matter how big or small it is. And, you know, um, I'm kind of speaking out of my mind here because, like, you know, I'm not a parent, but I can, I kind of seen this uh, happen too many times. And, you know, I see I read articles about this. So I, I kind of know what I'm talking about here. So uh, but, you know, half the time. But um, anyways, so now I can speak for everybody. Uh, you know, it, this is not my opinion. You know, um, I can speak for everybody when I say that, you know, there was a complete lack of any gaming expert opinions as in there was only one side to you know to this whole story and i'm only saying this because like l let me keep it 100 with y'all these are adults okay the only games that, that they have played in their lives are probably pac-man miss pac-man and donkey kong and super mario on the dreamcast okay you feel me but you know there there wasn't really like a a true like 
um another side to you know why all this is happening you feel me there was there wasn't any um any like real like gaming expert opinions on this which seems odd because considering the whole entire segment was about gaming and how it affected people's lives you feel me let me just say this again We've seen this many, many, many more times. Again, examples, Call of Duty, GTA. We've seen this a lot more times. Kids are spending way too much time on their games. And you know what? I don't think it's the children's fault. And I know what y'all y'all gonna say. It kind of is the children's fault. But shouldn't the parent be, you know, kind of monitoring what they're doing? Like, if, they're, if they know that they're spending way too much time on the game, shouldn't they, like, cut them off or give them something else to do? Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep them 100 with y'all, but, yeah, that's all I gotta say about this. Um, now, the big question here is, and I'm speaking in a parent's perspective, should I be concerned about my child spending way too much time on their PS4, Xbox, whatever they're on? You know, what, what are we going to do about it? Should I even be concerned? And, or, and the other big question here is, what does Epic Games have to say about this? Like, are they going to speak out? Are they going to say something? Or are they just going to sit back and, you know, get that money? Because, you know, that would kind of be what I would do. But, you know, they're kind of in a pickle right now. I don't know if, if this is, like, really big. But, it you know, it, it's kind of trending up a little bit. So, yeah. What is um, uh, Epic Games of Fortnite going to say about this? If they do say something, of course. So, yeah, uh, again, I'll leave the full segment um, link in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. Give me your uh, full opinion on what you think about this because, yeah, this is th this is crazy. Like, Fortnite is getting some major clout, though, if I, you know, if I say so myself, they're getting major clout. But, um, um, anyways, if you guys have enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for my awesome content. Again, this has been your boy, Ashley Phoenix, the awesome news. Peace out, guys. Stay logic. Blah, blah, blah.